Yo, what is up guys? So in today's video, I wanted to discuss something about Battlefield 6 that I've been thinking about for a long time. Everybody wants this game to be a massive success, right? We all want to see the Battlefield franchise be back up on its pedestal and be able to hold its head high as one of the best games around. And whether or not that happens for Battlefield 6 really depends on what you as a player want from the next Battlefield game. And that in turn, I think, depends on which Battlefield title you started playing first and which ones you really hold dear to your heart. Over the past few months, I've been making several videos about Battlefield 6, usually videos about what I would like to see from the game, mechanic changes, gameplay changes, vehicle changes, maps, etc. Whatever it is, I have the unique perspective of reading all of your guys' comments on whatever the video topic was and what you think about my suggestions for the new game. And I always see a lot of differing opinions there. Some of you guys agree with me and some of you disagree with me, which is of course absolutely fine and that's how things should be. I'm not for one second suggesting that you guys should all agree with what I say, far from it. But the point is, it's obvious to me that the Battlefield crowd has become a little bit divided, shall we say, in what they want from the next Battlefield title. So before we go any further into the video, stop what you're doing Steven, pause the video and leave me a comment down below telling me which Battlefield game really drew you into the series. And I'm not necessarily asking which was your first Battlefield game, but rather which one really got you hooked on the franchise. And you know, just really gives you those nostalgic vibes of having a good time. For me, the first Battlefield game I ever played was Battlefield 2, which came out in 2005, just about the same time I was moving to Iceland. But at the time, I wasn't really massively into the game. I thought getting to roll around in a tank was really cool, but I was also really terrible at it. I then went on to dabble a little bit in 2142 and I played Bad Company 2, but again, whilst I put a handful of hours into those games, I never really found myself playing them a ton. You know, I hadn't fallen in love just yet. It wasn't until a few years later when Battlefield 3 released that I became completely hooked on Battlefield. There was just something about that classic modern Battlefield vibe that Battlefield 2 had being revived in this amazing looking game with a brand new engine. And then after Battlefield 3, we had Battlefield 4, which really capitalized on that feeling even more for me. And that's why I still consider Battlefield 4 my favorite Battlefield game. Now for others, I know a lot of people have just recently started playing the franchise and perhaps you started with Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 1, which are really very different games than Battlefield 3 and 4 in my opinion. I think they managed to stand up on their own two feet and win over a certain crowd within the community, but I think it's safe to say that a lot of the older Battlefield 3 and 4 fans, like myself, were a bit disappointed with Battlefield 1 and 5, especially if you're a fan of the vehicles, which are, without question, a big part of Battlefield. So you've sort of got these two crowds, right? You've got the modern crowd, let's call them, who play Battlefield 3 and 4, and then you've got, let's say, the World War crowd, playing Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. And then you've got the people who played Battlefield 3 and 4, and then moved on to Battlefield 1 and 5, and, you know, were relatively pleased with all the Battlefield games. Okay, Ghost, what is your point? Well, Stephen, my point is that, basically, DICE can't really please everyone, or can they? If they make the vehicle mechanics similar to Battlefield 5 with floaty planes, no speed control and vehicle animations, then the modern crowd will be disappointed. If they make it a modern title, which it is by the way, the World War historical crowd will be disappointed. Some people want the premium system of Battlefield 4 where you pay for each DLC collection, you get a bunch of maps, weapons and vehicles every few months, whilst others want a battle pass system similar to Battlefield 5. Some people want Battle Royale, others don't, you know, it just goes on and on really. I suppose the old saying is, you can't please everyone. However, I do think there are a lot of points we can all agree on for the next Battlefield game, and that is that we need a better anti-cheat system, and we need the rental server program, so that people can admin their servers and kick cheaters whenever they're detected. I know having admins comes with its own host of problems as well, such as 
being wrongfully booted from a server by a badmin, but it's got to be better than playing with a bunch of cheaters. So we now know from DICE's recent earnings call that Battlefield 6 will release in October or November this year. And whatever DICE end up delivering will hopefully be worth playing for all of us. Whether you're the modern crowd or the World War crowd, hopefully we can all get along and enjoy a fantastic game together. And you know where else we could enjoy a fantastic game together? Yes, that's right, over on my Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash ghostgaminggg. I stream a few times a week and I always love having a good chat with you guys, getting to play a few rounds, maybe a bit of a wingman action. I don't really go by a set schedule as such, but you can always find the times for any given week in the Discord. And honestly, you guys coming by and watching me means the world. So thank you for all the support you guys show me there. As always, guys, leave me your thoughts down below, especially you, Stephen. Hit the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Battlefield 6. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.